Hello friends, my name is Chetan Vadadia and today we are going to study about addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of irrational numbers. This is same as addition of algebraic expression. Let me tell you, if you want to add x plus y, can you add them? No, we cannot add x plus y. Why? Because they are unlike terms. But when I say you add 3x plus 4x then can you add this yes we can add this because both these are like terms because they are having same variable so 3x plus 4x will become 7x same way here here also in irrational number when i say 3 root 2 plus 4 root 5 you cannot add them why we cannot add them because they are also unlike terms because the variables here you can see the variables were same so here you also the terms inside the root should be same if they are same then and only then you can add or subtract them Did you get this so here we cannot add them but if instead of this they would have given us this 3 root 2 plus 4 root 2 then you can add them that will be 7 root Understand? In subtraction also you need to check. Suppose you are having 7 root 3 minus 3 root 3. You can see the term inside the root is same or the number inside the root is same. So you can say you can subtract this because they are like term and the answer will be 4 root 3. Okay, for addition and subtraction you need to see whether they are like terms or not. If they are like them, then and only then you can add or subtract. Now for multiplication, also the same way, like algebraic expression only, x into y. Can we multiply? No, but we can keep them together, x, y. So here also, when they are unlike, means 3 into root 2. So 1 is having root and 1 is not having root. At that time, we can keep them together, but we cannot multiply. But if both the terms are having, let me write down 3 root 2 into 5 root 3, then you can multiply. But this number with this number means without root and here also without root, that 2 will be multiplied and this root will be multiplied. So 3 5 is a 15 and root 2 into root 3 is root 4. So this way we can multiply. If you are having 4 root 3 into 5 root 3. Then what will happen? Let me let me tell you. 4 5 is a 20 and root 3 into root 3 that is root 9. But now we know root 9, 9 is a perfect square number. So we can find out the root of 9. So that will become 20 root 9 will be 3. So 20 into 3, 61 will come. So this way we need to multiply. Please keep this in mind. Whenever you are multi multiplying root 5 into root 5, then actually this will become 5. But how? First of all, root 5 into root 5 will become 25. And 25 is a perfect square number. So we can find out the root of 25. So that will be 5. Okay, so this way you can multiply also. Now for division, you need to just see when I say 3 root 2 upon 4 root 5. Can you divide this? No, we cannot because all these terms are not same. But uh, if we are writing 12 uh, root 3 and 4 root 6. Now you can see as we are doing normal division 4 1s are and 4 3s are. Here also we can do that same. 3 1s are and 3 2s are. So you will get 3 into root 1 upon 1 into root 2. But again root 1 will be 1 only. So you will get 3 by root 2. Understand? So this way you can do division. And yes, if you are having term like this root 3 upon 3. So what you can cancel here, it will be like this 3 root 3 upon 3 means again root 3 into root 3. That is 3 only. So you can factorize this and then now you can divide. So answer will be 1 by root.
okay so this way we can add subtract multiply and do division of irrational numbers thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel